everybody. Bridget Lynn Dolgoff. Anyway, just trying to uh, be a little creative. Anyway, the backdrop here is for my Udemy classes. Still working on those. We'll be getting those out. And I'll have, um, you know, classes around all the things I do. Uh, alternative medicine, healthcare, pain management, um, compost, microbial mass, soil restoration, um, <clears throat> shamanism. I uh, have some shamanism classes up there as well. Anyway, so um, I don't know if that's going to, I guess it's kind of a backwards thing, a huh? backwards message. But anyway, maybe it'll play forward. Who knows? Um, but I'm just messing around, right? So, um, shamanism, what can I help you with, right? What can be helped? Well, obviously any kind of, um, strange spirit stuff, um, any kind of energies that, um, are not positive, um, looping, you know, when we get into looping cycles, um, and things seem to be the same thing over and over and over again. We're up and we're way down and it's always over kind of the same thing. It might have a different face. It might have a different um, storefront, but it always is a repetitive circle. Um, shamanism can help to break those cycles through practices and some techniques. Also, I can um, do consulting um, in the past, I've worked for CEOs of big companies who have contacted me um, and I have worked with them, you know, for a few months uh, by email and phone um, and talking to them about all the different issues that they have uh, at the company, with the company, um, about where the land is, that the building that they may be renting is in. Um, and then eventually I'll go there, I'll travel to where the business is and I'll go in and um, check it out and um, do some work and then um, put together some medicine and go ahead and go in and um, clean and uh, um, get it cleaned up and clear out a lot of the emotional stuff and and old, old stuff that's there. And at that point in time, I, I'll make some decisions about, uh, for example, one company I did, there was just so much evil and darkness in the back part of it where the people were fired or doing really awful things to the company, um, financial lies and deceit and all kinds of stuff. And the energy was just so bad there that we could not get it completely cleared up. Uh, and this company was a green business company, you know, sustainable, like the whole nine yards. Um, and so I ended up going up there a few more times and then um, helped them to uh, pick out a, a building that I thought was uh, more suited for the environment of their employees in a good way, you know, and it ended up being kind of a circle where there were no um, doors because there's a lot of mistrust with the employees of, of the people who had managed the company. Um, and so, you know, it was all open. You know, everybody had kind of a, a cubicle and they, it went around the main area. And so people could see each other. Um, and it, uh, because that was the number one thing that the, when I had the CEO start putting out emails to all the employees with questions, you know, like, um, how do you want your job to feel? You know, how, how do you want, how do you want to show up every day, uh, to your job? Like what kind of feelings do you want to have? And overwhelmingly, everyone always puts something on there about family. I want to feel like it's a family. I want to feel like I'm part of a family. You know, I want to have trust. Um, I want to help my, you know, coworker family members. You know, I, I want to be included. And 
So um, it's kind of a really fun process. So I've worked with some really big companies, um, the CEOs directly, to help kind of clean up a lot of the bad negative energies and help everything get off to a new foot, you know, and, and what's your intentions, right? What, what are your intentions and what are the goals? Um, and, and, and go from there. And sometimes, you know, I've taught CEOs actually how to communicate uh, with their employees, which has really changed the relationship um, with the business. So also I can help with health. I do sessions, um, shamanism healing sessions that I've been doing for years and um, just uh, go in and do sessions and just see what's going on on multiple levels and timelines and dimensions and layers and whatever else that, you know, they're labeled as. Um, and then I can, um, I also always travel. Um, I see people in person. Um, and the big bulk that I do is I see people um, over Zoom meeting, um, private sessions. And I, I work with families. Um, I work with, you know, blooming um kids who have um, gifts and abilities. I was a star kid, so I have lots of gifts and abilities, and um, I know how difficult it is to um, be able to find teachers that can help. Um, also, uh, I travel to, you know, help fix things or, you know, remove the original sins, which usually is murder and violence that have been committed in those areas. Um, in order to release water and land and, and just generally help to clean up. So that's kind of like what I can help with. Um, I do shamanism for personal too as well, um, you know, kind of as a life coaching. Um, my work and my life um, is a basis in shamanism. So, and, you know, for the record, um, the type of shamanism I do is for the greater good and for the good of all. Um, I'm not a selfish practitioner. I mean, a lot of the practices I do are me doing them physically or whatever else that I'm doing or the prayer or whatever else. So it does center around me and doing the work. Um, but yeah, work I do is, is for all. So, um, I'm not a mean or <laughs> angry or controlling or um, I don't do that kind of shamanism. Um, and, you know, I, I myself have been through the ringer with um, spiritual teachers. So I've um, had quite the, quite the journey, right, to get to here and where I'm at. All right. So that is your late breaking news brief about my shamanism sessions. Um, and yes, I do charge for them. Um, I charge for for a lot of the work that I do. Um, but there is a lot of work that I do for free and that um, I do gift. So uh, you can reach me at, um, I'll leave some of the information down below the video of contact and um, different kinds of uh, um, links um, that you can find more information. All right, Bridget Lynn Dolgoff, Conscious of Economics and Urban Farm Project. Have a great day. Bye.